Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you how to get the Keystone email address into your iPhone. Um, this is obviously assuming you've got iPhone iOS 7 installed on your device. Now this will work for iPhone 5, 4, 3, whatever you're using. Obviously on your phones you'll be a bit more faster and more um, responsive. So first of all, um, you just need to go to settings. Yeah. Okay, scroll down until you can find the mail, contacts and calendars. Now you may have done this before um, adding other emails to your phone or you may have not, but this is how you add email accounts to your iPhone. So select mail, contacts, calendars. Basically you want to add an account. So you click on add account. Right, you've got a list of accounts here. Um, again, you might have added some from, say, Google, Yahoo, AOL, Outlook.com, but we want you to use the exchange option here. So just select exchange. Right. And basically, what you need to do here is put your email um, address into this one. So I'm going to put my address, uh, my email address in here. Now, mine's. and make sure you don't put COMP like I just did there. Just make sure everything's all correct as an email address should be. You won't have any automatic tick or to verify that. You'll find out later on if you've done it wrong and you waste your time. So password, that's obviously going to be the password that you set up for your email account. If you haven't changed that password, it's obviously uh, password one, two, three, uh, exclamation mark. Hopefully you do not have that password still because it's not very safe. All right. So I'm just going to put in my password here. And description, exchange, that's fine. You can change it if you want, but for this tutorial, we're not going to change that. Click on next. So this is going to verify. That's great. You've got to this stage. Now, this is the real important step. And this is where a lot of people are like, going to get thrown off if they're not watching this. This, this is where you actually put in the server address. Now, leave the email at the top here, and you need to put the server address in here. So this is uh, mail dot rto sg dot com dot au. All right. And the domain, leave that as optional. Do not enter anything in there. Username, that's what you have to put in your name. So that's your first name dot last name, just like when you log into your email from webmail. So I'm going to put it in. There we go. Now the next thing you need to do is click on next. It should verify everything. You should get ticks if everything works in the boxes. You can see it's verifying. Okay, the fact that I'm on this page means that obviously I've done something right. So you can actually get it to sync up reminders and contacts, but we're just going to leave it on default. So we hit save, bang, it adds the account to your phone. You've got that now. So if I was to get out of here and basically go to the mail option down the bottom, I can go back to mailboxes. Okay, when you successfully got all that working, You'll be able to access your Keystone um, emails through your iPhone. Now, if you've got other accounts, um, emails established with your iPhone, you'll see them come up alongside also the Keystone one. But in this particular phone I'm using, I've only actually got the Keystone email coming in. So it's going to default to be the main one. That's why you can only see inbox VIP flag. There are no other mailboxes here. So it's just defaulting to this one. So if I go to inbox, I can see that I've got all the emails I need to see in here and basically this is how I can access Keystone emails um, on a mobile phone being an iPhone. Okay, thanks for watching guys.